from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. It's always good to have an ace up your sleeve, and luckily for the Missouri baseball team, it has two. Tanner Houck and Reggie McLean have been dominating the competition this season for the Tigers. The duo has combined for 32 innings pitched, 28 strikeouts, and only one earned run allowed. McLean would get to add to that line on the mound tonight against UIC. Here he is warming up. We'll tell you about what McLean did later on. Bottom of the first, runners on first and second, and it's an error by David Cronin of UIC that sends Connor Brumfield home for the score. Later on in the inning, runners on the corners, and Shane Bennis hits a shot to left field. That's going to bring Ryan Howard home. He had a big night later on. Mizzou with the lead, and then it was McLean's game from there. He had a career-high 11 strikeouts in this one, and Mizzou wins it 7-4 to four with a walk-off home run from Howard in the bottom of the ninth. Number 14, Missouri Gymnastics, was in action tonight against number 9, Arkansas, at home for senior night, but it was underclassmen who led the team tonight. Sophomore Tia Albritton opened up the beam competition with a 9.775. Sophomore Kennedy Harris scored a 9.825 on the vault. That was her sixth consistent or sixth consecutive score of a 9.8 or higher. Freshman Morgan Porter gets a 9.925 on the bar. She wasn't done yet. Porter gets a 9.95 on the beam there. However, that was not enough. Mizzou loses to Arkansas 196.2 to 196.05. The Missouri softball team got win number 11 today against the California Golden Bears in the Judy Garman tournament. The Tigers beat the Bears 6-5 in eight innings. Sammy Fagan went 2 of 4 with a home run and 3 RBIs. She drove in Taylor Gadboys for what would end up being the winning run on a single in the 8th inning. Paige Lowry gets the win for Missouri. She pitched the full 8 innings for the Tigers, gave up only 3 earned runs and had 4 strikeouts. In local hoops action, Columbia College advanced to the semifinals tonight after knocking out Harris Stowe in the quarterfinals of the American Midwest Conference Tournament. Columbia College taking on Park University. It's the semifinals of the American Midwest Conference Tournament. Early first half, Nick Reynolds puts one up from behind the arc and drains it. Cougars up two. Park, however, would keep it close thanks to forward Derek Williams. He had a game-high 27 points, but the Cougars got some clutch shooting from Travis Vogt. He puts the Cougars up three here with the splash from deep and then Vogt again off the pass from downtown. Perfect three for three from behind the arc for him in the first half. Cougars would go on to win this one, 86 to 81. Columbia College has had a lot of success this year with its athletic programs, and it owes a lot of that to student athletes that came from overseas. KOMU8's Nick Heeman explains how one international player on the women's basketball team still feels right at home here in Columbia. For Marta Imonyana, the length of a basketball court doesn't seem that far. She's traveled a whole lot farther. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. She didn't just move states to play college basketball. She moved to a different country and a different climate. And then when it came to winter, it was so cold, and I was not expecting that. And she probably didn't expect to end up so far away from home. So much of basketball is about distance. It's roughly 21 feet from the three-point line to the hoop. And from right here at the free throw line, about 15 feet. But if you want to talk about distance, Marta's got all that beat. Over 5,200 miles separate her from her hometown in Sao Paulo, Brazil. She's one of 27 international athletes that play at Columbia College, but the only one on the women's basketball team. Still, it didn't take long for her to fit in. She's super goofy, super fun to be around. She's so funny. She's just, you know, all around good, nice girl. And she even helps teach the team a little bit about her own culture. Like when she took her coach to a Brazilian restaurant, of course, it was Marta doing the coaching then. She was really the expert. She had a nice time laughing at me and not knowing how to pronounce things. <laughs> she was doing kind of well, but at the end of the, at, at the lunch, she was speaking better Portuguese, but it was, it was pretty fun to teach her. The Cougars have taught each other a lot, both about culture and basketball. And they've taught others how to come together as a team, no matter where everyone's from. Although many miles away from her parents, Marta's not that far from a family. She has one right here at Columbia College. Nick Heeman, KMU8 Sports, Columbia. Marta is in her second year at Columbia College. She's still unsure if she wants to stay and work in the United States after school or move back home to Brazil. And that's sports.